Fabric has always kind of been in my fabric of my being, should we say. I live in a city, but I compost and I'm, and I'm a gardener. So I've always kind of drawn to this country aspect in a city. That kind of informed the direction that I was gonna go in this line. When you're 17, you have to pick a major in college. I kind of had to find something that fit into what I really loved. So I chose fashion because I loved fabric. Getting kind of to the top of my game, I really had to step back for myself and say, what is it about this stuff that I really love? And it was never about making women feel sexy or beautiful or getting the perfect fit dress for me, ever. It was always about fabric and color. The process of working with fabric was always so interesting to me because you're taking something totally flat and making it go on your body or go around a body or come into a pillow or whatever. So I kind of started this fabric collecting obsession early. I can't think of any other word other than hoarding. I'm a fabric hoarder, a hoarder, a hoarder, I'm a hoarder. In the fabric world, you're giving people a medium that it forces them to be creative. You're so much more part of the process than just picking up a size medium and putting on your body. You're actually thinking about, what do I want this to be? What is this? It could be anything. I could make a tea cozy or a pillow or anything. I mean, it, the, the possibilities are endless with providing people fabric. I would say that Habitat is user-friendly. It's something that a lot of people can maybe find something pretty or edgy um, to identify with. I wanted to keep it artistic. I wanted it to look like it was from the hand of an artist and not from a computer. But yet, at the same time, it's still fun. And I want it to be um, uplifting. And I think it's a very positive color palette. At, at the end of the day, it's inspired by gardens and flowers and city living. So there's these kind of, you know, blacks and grays mixed with midnight blues from the night sky, mixed with bright pops of orange and red and yellow. It's always exciting for me to walk into a fabric store and see a bolt of fabric that I designed and know the entire process, the year-long process it takes to get my designs onto a bolt of fabric in a store with my name on it. The exciting part is knowing that people are out there buying it and then, you know, with our social media, seeing people on Facebook and Flickr and Tumblr and all these places sharing the purse that they made or the pillow they made or the little dress they made for their daughter or then their daughters making little dolls out of my fabric. So that part is really totally worth it.